Okay. Sean the Coot 99 here once again. And that is as ironic as it can get right now. Because this is the fourth time I've tried to do this episode. And I'm a little sick of it. In this episode, we are not doing speedruns. Instead, we're trying to get those gems that he's hoarding in that menu of his right there. You want them so bad, but they won't let you get them. So they make you do the level itself. So, that's what we're doing. We're getting three gems, both of them from Dynamite, and one and the other gem from Bug Light, because both of them, or you can't quite say both when you're talking about three gems, now can you? All three of them required the yellow gem to collect. And now that we have the yellow gem, we can go ahead and get them. This just sucks because I've had so much good material in my past tries. Let's see, one of them was thwarted by someone walking in the door, although I got a nice smoothie out of that. Like literally, I just got a smoothie. The next one was thwarted by Java trying to update and I've already pointed out that it looked like my game was about to freeze. Haha, <laughs> it's not funny anymore. The second one was Java wanted to update and decided, oh hey, I'm just going to stop your recording because I'm far more important. And so then the third one, it was just going to go right. And I ironically said, third time's the charm. <laughs> and then the sync was running really loud and it screwed things over. So, as we get rejected, you stop spinning. There. Alright. Just cut to the chase. I don't care about the Wumpa Fruit anymore. Okay, except I could probably have used that one extra Wumpa Fruit, but who cares? Puzzle solving. You know, actually, I'd love to see a crash game with puzzle solving. That'd be pretty neat. I have been playing a lot of Portal recently, and, or Portal 2, actually, and those puzzles are fun. Tediously annoying, but fun. That, and I've also been playing a lot of Marvel vs. Capcom 3, which is probably why some of these videos have taken really long, despite the horrid, you know, intrusions, because I have lost my train of thought. No, I've been playing a lot of Marvel vs. Capcom 3, which is just a game that tests you on how fast you can press one button, basically. And that does not translate well into platformer action-adventure games like this. Wait, no, does this really count as an adventure game? I don't know. But, hey, we get to meet our old friend, Backtracking. Hello, Backtracking. How we really missed you. As you're holding, like, a pair of hedge clippers behind your back. Don't worry, they're apologizing hedge clippers. They're those get well soon hedge clippers. Stupid creeper guys. Yeah, I had good footage of those creeper guys too. Come here, baby T. How I missed you. Too bad you're so underused. You're my favorite part of this game, basically. Busting boxes. And touching lava! Oh, that's a great way. Looks like Baby T's extinct, and... Okay, he's not extinct. And that's the last box you do have to break. I hope. Hell, I've done this three times. I should know by now. And as much as I take it upon myself to try to show you guys the glitch with Baby T, I'm saving that for an extras video after I beat Cortex for the second time. Obviously, I'm not going to say what's in the extras video, because, hell, I don't even know myself. I have to organize it after finding if there's anything useful. It involves that, but I'm not going to get into too much detail. Oh, I ruined my chances of fun. I love that. Where you can set it up and crash, it's just hyper turbo charges, whatever you want to call it. Well, whatever. This is going. Ooh, bonus time! is going far more swimmingly than the past tries. Now, as soon as I say that, I'm probably going to die in the bonus room, am I? I really hope I don't die in the bonus room. Man, 
Why do all these stupid boxes only have one freaking lump of fruit? I think I've worked for... I've worked hard enough to get more than that. That one even only had one. This is a stingy, stingy nation. Alright, no, I didn't die in the bonus room. I'm a lucky, 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 luck boy. Alright. We just have to go through the final type. No, I tried to. Uh, I was about to say Tyrannosaurus, a mistake I pulled in uh, earlier. But Triceratops. We have to go through the, his chase and then. Uh, We'll finally be done with this, or I'll finally be done with it, and to tell you the truth, I am sick of it. Like, I'm seriously getting an allergy to this stuff right now. Gem, I give it a 10. Excuse me, while I get a sip of my smoothie. Jealous. I have a smoothie and you don't. But alright, now that my dog is growling, because she's also rude, and uh, sorry if that was quiet, I had to, I had to turn away from the mic to breathe, no, I had to look at my dog angrily. Okay. Now for bug light. Everyone remembers this level. I wasted your time and get got hit by a snake. Dog, be quiet. Yeah, take that alligator. Wait, I don't need to break these boxes. That's right, I'm just getting a gem. Ah, there we go. Alright. Now, here's one thing. One good thing that came out of all my failures was that I learned something that could help you if you're trying to do this the exact same way I am. And if you have a severe allergy to success every now and then. Man, was it just me or did it look like the sarcophagus broke a box? Alright. Look how shiny and tempting that is. Don't hit it. It's a lie. Hit that first, then come back to it. That way, if you die on this sad, horrid gem path, all you have to do is walk backwards a good 15 steps or so. Okay. Let's see if I can pull this off. Ah, oh, man. I tried to go through this area without setting off any of the darts. I only triggered two that time, but oh well. So the green area is represented by pointy explosive things, or pointy and explosive things, okay. While the blue area was represented by pointy things and light. The purple area represented by pits of indeterminable length and pointy things, okay. And a mummy. And death. Perfect. Ooh, I almost went that way. <laughs> How sad. Alright, let's do it again. Jump up the stairs because Crash can't walk up stairs because he's dyslexic and or something. Man, that's something I gotta work on. I, I constantly say characters are... Please, don't take offense if you do have dyslexia. I... I don't see you any different. It's just... That's probably the coolest sounding, you know... Something. That's just my go-to thing when a character screws up. I'm like, oh. He can't open this door or something. Please, don't think of me differently. It's just... Don't don't hate me for it. I don't see any... If you have dyslexia, that's... You know, you're just a normal person, man. I don't hate anyone. I don't really hate on anyone. I'm a nice guy. I promise. Now, after that heartfelt moment of sudden realization that I probably shouldn't be having during Let's Plays, we finally get to go to the areas we haven't gone to in this. Now, yellow is represented by spiky things. I think I'm seeing a running pattern here. 
Naughty Dog has an unforetold love of spiky things. Or pointy things. There it is! Plane in sight! I gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it! <laughs> I'd be so great if a pillar just slammed down on you. Ah, but no, Naughty Dog's not that evil. So... With that, we get that gem. So we can go forward and... Let's see, let's, let's pause here really quick. Ah, 76% done in the game. Six gems left. Alright, we're almost there. All we need is to get these gems from his level. But that requires relics. Because the next episode, we're speedrunning this. And according to two comments, yes, an astounding two, and I'm even proud of that, people like commentary more, so it'll just be one long episode with me hopefully speedrunning all of these successfully. I just know this one's going to give me troubles, because I'm not good with that. But anyway, this is Seanacoot99. Join me next time as we speedrun Warp Room 3. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.